Hello, hello, guys. Welcome. Okay, um, so as usual, you know that I always ask you if you can listen to me. Can you listen to me? Yes, yes it is. Yes. Can you, can you listen to me, guys? Hello? Yes, teacher. I don't know if you can listen to me because I cannot listen to you. Yes, teacher. Can, can you guys listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I don't know what's going on. I can I cannot listen to what you're saying, so. Let me see. That's weird. But um, Jose Alberto, do you listen to me? Yeah, teacher. Yes. That's weird. Yes. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on. Let me see. Okay, that's fine. Hello, hello. Okay. Can you say something again, Jose Alberto, so I can try to say something? Tell me anything, because it's it's weird. I cannot listen to you. Yeah. Oh, now I can listen to you. Okay, oh. perfect. Thank you. So it was kind of weird. So probably I clicked something there. Por, de apreté algo por ahí, I don't know, but something happened. Okay. So thank you so much, guys, for being always on time. Por estar a tiempo. That shows part of your responsibility, part of your uh, commitment, parte de su responsabilidad to be on time of the class. I do appreciate that. That's very that's very good from your part. Okay. So um, today, guys, we are going to continue uh, trying to understand something that we saw yesterday. What was yesterday's class about? Who can tell me? Simple present. Simple present, yes. We saw yesterday the simple present with affirmative and negative statements, okay? That's what we saw. So, now we are going to have a small practice before we continue with the topic. And I will write on the chat from the call a sentence, okay? Let me write it down. Okay. Now, can you see it? And you see the the sentence on the chat? Can you see it? Si lo pueden ver. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. yes All right, teacher. so what I need you to do right now, lo que necesito que hagan, that change this sentence into a negative form. Negative, todos, negative. Let me see, we are 11, 12, 12. I need, I will need 12, cent, 12 answers, okay? So let's go, I need, okay. Thank you so much, Carla. Okay, we have Jocelyn there too. What about the other ones? I just have uh, Carla and Jocelyn. I have Julia Yesenia, Jocelyn Elizabeth too, Jose Alberto. Okay, Griselda. 
Julia, ok, pupusas, yes. Ok, Iris. Ok, I think that we have uh, 12 answers. Let me see. One. Ok, I see Sofia, two. He doesn't. Ok, Sofia, there you're missing the verb. You just, you didn't put the verb there. So I cannot see the verb there. So now, let me see. I will give you a negative sentence and I will need you to change the negative to affirmative, okay? Just let me write it down. Uh, Okay, we have the sentence negative there. So I need you to change that sentence from negative to affirmative. Thank you so much, Carla. Jocelyn, thank you very much. Oh, we have two Jocelyns here. We have a Jocelyn with an J and a Jocelyn with a Y. Okay, Sophia, okay. Marce. Griselda. Okay. Okay, Jose Alberto, very good. All right. So when we don't have uh, our phones in English or when we are not used to English, a veces el mismo teléfono nos cambia y nos pone cosas que nada que ver, ¿verdad? So I study I, something like that. But those are uh, because we don't have our phones in English. So um, I would like to know if, do you have any question regarding to what we saw yesterday? Do you have any questions so far? or something that you would like me to reinforce about the topic we saw yesterday? Or is everything clear at the moment? Clear. Clear, perfect. So today, guys, we are going to uh, continue with that. And let me see. And today we're going to try to see the questions in simple present. I would like to know if yesterday we did the exercises of the simple present. Do you remember that? Did we do the exercises? No, we didn't. I am pretty sure that we didn't. Okay, let me see. So the first thing that we're going to do right now, we are going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to work with the exercises. So here is the first exercise that I need you to work on. If you are using your phone, please take a screenshot, a screenshot of, of in your phone and let me know when you're done so I can move to the next one. Are you done? done? Okay. And this is the second one, number two. Okay, so now we are going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to work on those exercises, okay? So that's the first practice that we are going to do. Then we are going to move on and try to understand 
how to make questions in simple present. Now, what I want you to tell you guys is that si usted va a ayudar o participar en los ejercicios, tratar de decir las palabras que usted ya sabe en inglés. ¿Sí? If you are going to talk, if you are going to participate, si va a participar, si va a decir algo y ya sabe cómo decirlo en inglés, say it in English, ¿ok? Because we are here to practice and we are going to try to practice as much as possible, ¿ok? So let's see. We have, uh, ok. I already sent you the invitation, so please try to join your groups. What about with you guys? Were you not able to go? Yeah, what happened, Griselda? You didn't get, you didn't get it? ¿No la recibiste the, the notification? Yes, yes, yes. Ok, just let me... Ah, pero no sé qué. Ahora sí. Ok, let's go. Ok, no problem, Jocelyn, that's perfect. As long as you're there, that's perfect. Ok, don't worry about it. Laura, what happened with you? Did you get the notification for going to the work uh, uh, working rooms? No. Eh, hay que escribir como, como, ¿qué diría en, en negativo? Las que dicen no van en negativo y las otras en, en afirmativo. Ok. Eh, sí. Quiere una, agarremos una cada una para que nos salgan dos cada una y solo pónganlo ahí en el grupo. Digamos la, la primera de David que va a amarse, la segunda Paola, la tercera yo y así. Bye, está bien. Casi no les entendí porque se me salió del... De, de, eh, que haga la, la... Sí, pienso que sería... De... 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 Vas dos en esto. Doce, doce, doce.
56. Mr. Brown. Stitches. 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 Matt. Yes. Seven. The children players. Football. Place. 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 Yes. Pero es que son varios. Bueno. Ajá, son dos. Creo que no aplica. Ajá. The children. Place. Es que si yo, si yo no me equivoco, no sé si está el teacher aquí. Creo que sí. Pero a uh, place no se le agrega S, sino que solo se le agregaría la S. Eh, no, porque en este caso, the children eh, son los niños. Sí, pero independientemente, no sé. Do you have any questions? No sé si está el teacher, la verdad, pero sí me gustaría que me sacara el Teacher, uh, number six, place? seven. Teacher, the children, place. The children. Can you, can you listen to me? Yeah. The okay. children. Okay, the children, because children is plural. Children yes. is plural. We yes. cannot... We cannot you say place. Because place. Plural. Exacto. Nos estamos refiriendo a más de uno. Exacto. Pero eh, es que ella me decía que se le agrega S, pero solo se le agrega la S, ¿cierto? No. O place. Se, pon, se pone el verbo en la forma normal. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. White t-shirt. Because, in that case, en ese caso, eh, estamos hablando de the children. The children. The plural. Plurales, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Si era solo child, que sería un niño. Un niño. Contaría exactly. como un él. Entonces, un él uh -huh. es tercera persona. Ya. Yeah. Y en este, en el, también en el caso del number five, Number five, no, porque en ese caso yo me refiero a un bus, el bus 34 a uno. Ah, thank you, teacher. The, the children play football. Yes. Okay. Number A. Mary Washington. Washington. Mary, watch. Aquí ya me confundí. Aquí la pasaríamos a, a positiva. Recuerde que uh -huh. ahí está. That to a school. We. Entonces, eh, es en. Es do. Sería, we walk to a school. No. We walk. Walk. Este se le agregaría a um, little is, little is, yes, o oh, similar is.
We're just going to wait for the other ones to come back to the main session. So we're going to see how it goes, okay? So we're just waiting for them to come back. Okay, so I see that the majority of you are back here. So uh, did you finish them all? Did you finish all the exercises? Did you complete them all? No? Yes? Only the first part. The first part, okay, that's perfect. So let me see what you got. On this part, I will request eight people. Is there any volunteer that we can have? Sophia, okay, Sophia, Stephanie, help me with number one. Uh, is they, mm -hmm. they, sorry, they live in Madrid, it's positive. Positive, uh, what do you have, Iris Yvette? Is, do you have the same? No, Jose Alberto is the, is the same. Guys, are, are you listening to me? Si todos me están escuchando. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so what happens with the first one? Sofia said they lives in Madrid. She said positive. Is that correct? Yes or no? No, no, it's correct. <laughs> it's not. Why it's is correct. not? It's not correct. Because, because, it's, because it's our person. Yeah. <laughs> it's their person. And because we have here. The change is. Carla, is, let me see what you have, Carla. They doesn't live in Madrid. Excellent. So that's the answer. Dave doesn't live in Madrid. So number two, let me see. What do you have in number two, uh, Sulma Maritza? What do you have in number two? Sevilla. Mm. So, um, it's positive. Um, mm -hmm. So, studies mm -hmm. in school. Excellent. So, studies German school. Studies. Jose Alberto, do I modify the verb, yes or no? Se modifica el verbo, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Do we modify it? Lo modificamos? Yes. Why do we modify it? ¿Por qué? Why? Porque because it's third person. Because it is third person. No. What about number three? Que hay de la número tres, eh, Julia Yesenia. What do you have in number three? Yes. Um, my dad drives mm -hmm. a red car. My dad drives a red car. Do I modify the verb yes or no? Yes. Why? Um, lo diré en español, pero agrego la S. Why do we do that? Uh, my dad is he. Is a he, and he is third person. Very good. Yeah. Now, Paola Alejandra, what do you have in number four? Paola Alejandra. Yes. Okay, Paola, what do we have in number four? We doesn't know well to school. We doesn't. Is that correct, guys? 
No. No. Why not, Paola? I don't know. You so if you don't know why you say no. Es correcto, we doesn't, guys? No. No. How do we say it, Carla? We don't walk to school. We don't walk to school. Zulma, which personal pronouns con qué pronombres personales trabaja de auxiliary does? Does is... Uh, he, mm -hmm. she, and it. Now, uh, let me see. Saul Gutierrez, which personal pronouns do I use with the auxiliary do? I, we, you, they. Thank you very much. Okay, let me see. Uh, Marce Hernandez, how do you have the number seven? Marce Hernandez, are you there? Well, I think they are not here. So any volunteer that would like to help me with number seven? Let me see, so Ros, no, let me see. Rosa Melida, I can see that you raise your hand. The children plays football. Plays football, is that correct, guys? Incorrect. Modifico el verbo ahí? No. No. Por qué no, why not? Yes, children they okay is they es, eso es lo que, okay let me explain you okay here when the oh, no children life. me refiero a plural los niños porque si yo quiero decir un niño yo digo child mm -hmm. tanto cuando yo me refiero a los niños son ellos como digo ellos en inglés how do i say that they. They. Por lo tanto, con qué, eh, si me refiero a ellos, lo modifico o no lo modifico? No. 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 Automatically, no. I no. do not modify it. Okay, very good. I not modify it. Okay, so I hope you understood. Espero que hayamos entendido con estos ejercicios hasta el momento. Why? Because... Now we're going to go to the questions. Vamos a aprender, or we're going to try to understand how to make questions. Como hacer preguntas. So, let me see. Here. Share the screen with you. And let me know if you can see it. Can you guys see it? Si lo podemos ver, can you see it? Yes. Ulma, I see that you raised your hand. Do you have a question? Yes. Tell me. El verbo auxiliar es solo se utiliza cuando es negativo y cuando es pregunta. Exactly. Solo es positivo, no, se utiliza. no, when it is affirmative, mm. never, never. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanks. okay, you're welcome. So now or today, we are going to understand how to make questions. Como hacer preguntas. Okay. So let's see. Como hago una pregunta. Very easy. Fácil. Solo agrego the auxiliary. El auxiliar at the beginning, al inicio, then personal pronoun, pronombre personal, then complemento, and then question mark. Okay? So, if I say, do I like cheese? Me gusta el queso? 
Do you like cheese? ¿Te gusta el queso? Do we like cheese? ¿Nos gusta el queso? Do they like cheese? ¿Les gusta el queso? A ellos. ¿Ok? So remember, recuérdense lo que vimos ayer. Los auxiliares, ¿con qué pronombres trabajan? So that's what you have to remember. ¿Sí? What do we do? For example. Yes. Ok, let me see. En English, en inglés podemos dar respuestas cortas, short answers, and long answers. In this case, en este caso, when I have this structure, esta estructura, para preguntas, yo puedo responder y decir, yes, I do. For example, if I ask a question, si yo hago una pregunta a Carla, le pregunto, hey Carla, do you like cheese? ¿Te gusta el queso? Ella me puede decir, yes, I do. Or, si a ella no le gusta, me va a decir, no, I don't. ¿Ok? Yes, I do. No, I don't. ¿Ok? Don't. Make the pronunciation clear. Or, si yo le hago a Carla la pregunta, does he like cheese? ¿Le gusta el queso? ¿A quién? ¿A él? Ella me va a decir, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Ok. So, with that being said, con eso dicho, do you have any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No, clear. Clear. So, if you say that is clear, Okay, I will trust you. Vamos a confiar en lo que ustedes dicen. Remember, recuérdense, si tienen preguntas, if you have any question, ask the question. Si no quiere hablar, ahí tenemos el chat también. Okay, so, but I will request you to try to speak. Si, si puede, if you try to speak in English, that will be perfect. Okay, so try to practice. So if you don't have any questions so far, so let's move on. Vamos a continuar. So, contractions, contracciones negativas. If I say don't, es igual como que yo dijera do not. If I say doesn't, is equals. If I say does not. For example, I don't like meat. Or, I do not like meat. Si yo lo contracto o no lo contracto, it doesn't make any difference. No hace ninguna diferencia. Siempre significa the same thing. La misma cosa. But some, something very important that you need to know is that Americans love contractions. Personas americanas o personas nativas del idioma aman contracciones. Casi siempre van a usar contracciones when they are speaking. Okay? So, those contractions are necessary for you to know. Let me see. We are 18. Somos 18. Necesito que todos me hagan la pronunciación de estas cuatro palabritas ahora. And we are going to start. Y vamos a ver el orden que lo van a hacer. Number one, Zulma. Number two, Griselda Angélica. Number three, Rosa Melida. Number four, Sofía Stephanie. Number five, Jocelyn Stephanie. Number six, Iris Yvette. Seven, Jose Alberto. Eight, Carla. Nine, Jocelyn Elizabeth. Uh, ten, Marce Hernández. Eleven, Saúl Gutiérrez. Uh, Twelve, Otoniel. Uh, 13, Monica, 14, Laura, 15, Paola, 16, Julia Yesenia, and 17, Vanessa Gabriel. So you already know your number. Ya saben su número. Let's go. Sofia, don't and do not. Mm -hmm. Doesn't and mm -hmm. does not. 
Ok, Zulma. The only problem, el un, la única situación que, que escuché ahí mal es mm -hmm. doesn't. El sonido doesn't. de la letra T, doesn't. Ok. Doesn't. Ok, very good. Doesn't. Now, number two, número dos. Don't do not. Mm -hmm. Doesn't does not. Does not. Ok. Number three. Número tres. Don't do not. Doesn't does not. Very good pronunciation. Number four. Don't do not. Doesn't does not. Excellent. The next one. Don't don't know does him does not. Okay, the next one. Don't do not does do not do not just does not doesn't 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 not. Very good. The next one. Don't do not. Doesn't, does not. Very good. The next one. Don't, do not. Doesn't, does not. Okay. The next one. Don't, do not. Doesn't, does not. Thank you very much. The next one. Don't do not mm -hmm. does not very good. The next one don't do not mm -hmm. does not does not very good. The next one. Who is the next one, guys? Hello? Alguien olvidó su número, I guess. Hello? Okay, the next one then. Guys, what happened there? ¿Qué pasó ahí? ¿Alguien se le olvidó su número? 12. Who's number 12? Número 12, who is number 12? Well, number 12 is not there. Number 13, then. Número 13, number 13. Fourteen, then. No, you, you forgot your numbers, guys. Well, all right. So thanks for the ones that are participating. The other ones, please pay attention to your numbers for the next time. Try to participate, okay? Because if you do not participate, how am I supposed to know that you are pronouncing correctly? Julia Yesenia, yes. Number 16, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Don't, do not, doesn't, does not. Okay, thank you very much. So as I was saying, Los demás, por favor, traten de participar. Si nunca participan, ¿cómo van a saber que la pronunciación está correcta o está incorrecta? So it's necessary that you participate, ¿ok? So don't be afraid, sin miedo. Todos nos vamos a equivocar, and that's why we're here. Estamos acá para aprender. Si usted no se equivoca, nunca va a mejorar, ¿ok? So for the next time, please try to participate. So... Here we have, let me see, we have uh, to correct the birds. 
Los vamos a corregir los verbos en tercera persona, como si estuviéramos hablando de la tercera persona. Let's see. We're going to follow the order. Vamos a seguir el mismo orden. Bueno, lo vamos a cambiar. Now, number one is going to be José Alberto. Number two, Carla. Number three, Marce Hernández. Number four, Saúl. Number five, Julia Yesenia. Number six, Iris Ivette. Number seven, Vanessa. Number eight, Zulma. Number nine, Rosa Melida. Number 10, Jocelyn Elizabeth. Number 11, Griselda. Number 12, Otoniel. Number 13, Monica. Number 14, Paola. Number uh, 15, Sonia Steph Sophia Stephanie, I'm sorry. And number 16, uh, Jocelyn Stephanie. So let's go. Um, teacher, sorry. I'm sorry, the number one is C. Um, no, no sé qué significa el C verbo. Es there. C. There. Es there. C. Mm -hmm. C, there. Mm -hmm. En este caso, este termino en vocal, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. What do we do? ¿Qué hacemos? Eh, comprendería que sería reemplazar esa. Esa E, la última, y una IS, o solamente S. Porque no, no recuerdo una regla que nos dio en, oh, ese, en ese ejemplo. Ajá, that's the question. If I have C, lo que voy a hacer es agregarle solamente la letra S, y yo voy a decir C. Sí, ok, si sí, más o menos ahí andaba la noción que tenía. Ok, but thank you very much. Yes. Don't worry, for the next time. You will already know how to do that. Carla. Takes. Takes. Very good. Number three. Who is number three, guys? Estoy un poquito por la clase. Yeah, so it's fine. Uh, probably the next time you are going to participate. So let's move on to number four. Who is number four? Teacher. Say it again. Kisses. Kisses. Very good. Number five. Calls. Calls. Very good. Number six. Número seis, number six. Play. Say it again. Play. No, number six. Number six. Sorry. It's uh, fine. Give. Gives. Gives. Give. Gives. Okay. Thank you very much. Number seven. Play. No sé si estoy un poco confundida, pero no cambia en tercera persona el verbo. Ver. Play, perdón. Play, no cambia. ¿Qué piensas tú, Saúl? What do you think? Does it change or it doesn't? ¿Cambia o no cambia? In third person. No, no cambia. No cambia. José Alberto, does it changes, yes or no? Yes. It changes. How? ¿Qué, qué, qué es lo que sucede? Lo, si lo cambiamos, ¿qué le agregamos? La, la Y. Y. Yeah. Yeah. Cambia la Y por la I E S, no. No. No sería I E S. No agrega S. We just add the letter. Agrega S, Because solo le agregamos la S porque cambiamos la I cuando va precedida por una consonante. Y en este caso, ¿qué tengo? Una vocal. 
I do not modify it. So I just say play, plays. Okay. Number eight. Studies. Studies. Do I modify it? Lo modifico? Yes. Okay. Very good. Number nine. Watch. Watch. Do I modify it? Lo modifico? Yes or no? Yes. Why? ¿Por qué lo modifico? Because have consonants. Because have consonants. Okay. Who can tell me the rule? Alguien me puede decir qué regla decía cerca de watch. What's the rule? Watches. Yes. We say watches. Decimos watches porque la regla decía if the verb ends in x, s h, c h, e s. So we say watch, watches. Thank you very much. So let's go number ten. Helps. Helps. Very good. Number 11. Hurts. Hurts. Very good. Number 12. Who's number 12? Carla. Okay. Reyes. Okay, yeah, we, we grab it cries, but we pronounce it cries, cries. So we say cry, cries. Cries. Yes, thank you very much. Number 13. Swell. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one, number 13 is swim. And we just add lo modificamos or no? What do you think, Jose Alberto? Do we modify it? Lo modificamos? Yes or no? Uh, do I write um, yes? Le agregamos yes. Is that correct, Carla? No, it's incorrect. Yeah. What do we do then? Because finish and M and letter M and the letter M is a consonant. So I add the letter S and I say swim, swims. Okay. Simple as that. So we're going to stop there guys. And we're going to move on because of the time. Okay. So uh, we're going to have this practice and I need you to take a screenshot of that too. Si no terminamos esta práctica ahorita, va a ser tarea de ustedes para mañana, okay? So what I need you to do is that if you if we don't finish this, you will have to work on your book, trabajar en su notebook o en su cuaderno and send me a picture, okay? Enviarme una fotografía de su trabajo. Are we clear? Sí, estamos clear. Yeah. So, take a screenshot of this, tomar captura, any screenshot, and let me know so I can move to the next one. Can I move? Todas serían en negativo, ¿verdad? All of them in negatives. Yes. Can I move? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. So, uh, here we have, guys, algo otros ejemplos. Aquí tenemos algo otros ejemplos de cómo hacer preguntas. How to make questions. Oh, you have a beautiful dog, Carla. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, here, as we can see, it says, do you like chocolate? Chocolate. La mayoría de veces cometemos el error de pronunciar chocolate, but we say chocolate, okay? Chocolate. So 
Do I need a pencil? Do you both like chocolate? So la forma, the short answer, la forma corta de responder es, si le hacen una pregunta con do, se so decir, yes, I do, or no, I don't. For example, uh, do I need a pencil? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Recuérdense que, example, si se fijan en the question number one, en la pregunta número uno, yo estoy haciendo una pregunta con you. ¿Qué pasa cuando yo tengo una pregunta con you? Yo voy a responder con I. Porque si yo le estoy preguntando a usted, usted me va a responder sí, yo. Si yo le pregunto a usted si yo, como la número dos, que yo utilizo do I, Estoy preguntando a ti. Entonces tú me vas a decir, sí, tú. That's the reason why. Esa es la razón por la que cambiamos el pronombre cuando respondemos. Si ¿Sí está claro esa parte. Is it clear? Yes, it is. Ok, I will take that, that yes. Como que mañana hacemos un examen y todos sacan 10. Ok. So, all right. So if there's no questions right now, So I'm pretty sure that that's clear, clear enough. Rosa Melida, yes. Teacher, how do you say chocolate? Chocolate. We say chocolate. chocolate. We never say chocolate. Because sometimes algunas personas dicen chocolate. Like in Spanish, solo le damos un medio acentito y ya, in English, but no. In English, we say chocolate, okay? So keep that in mind. Existen dos tipos o dos formas como podemos hacer preguntas. So, in the first one, in la primera, utilizamos the following formula. We have a formula that is the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. Y obviously la respuesta, yes or no. Ahí va a depender de usted. Now, tengo la forma número dos. Yo le puedo agregar una WH question. ¿Cuáles son las WH question? What, who, where, why, when, and so on and so on. ¿Ok? Si yo utilizo una WH question al inicio, Luego el auxiliar, then the subject, then the verb, and then the complement. Cuando yo utilizo la fórmula number two, nunca, never, pero nunca voy a responder con yes or no. ¿Sí? Nunca. Keep that in mind. Solamente voy a responder yes or no cuando... La primera cosa solo lleve el auxiliar, do or does. Pero si yo tengo una WH question al inicio, nunca voy a responder con yes or no. Is it clear, guys? En la segunda es porque están pidiendo información, ¿verdad? No necessarily, no necesariamente. Por ejemplo... Uh, si alguien le pregunta, what do you play on your computer? ¿Qué juegas en la computadora? Si alguien le pregunta eso, usted no va a decir, sí, yo juego en la computadora. Porque le están preguntando, ¿qué juega en la computadora? ¿Sí? Eso es más que todo sentido común, logic, lógica. Pero, ¿qué pasa? Si yo no tuviese ese what al inicio, sino que solo la persona me dijera, do you play on your computer? Ahí cambia, porque la persona me está diciendo, ¿juegas en tu computadora? Entonces yo le digo, sí, yes, I do. Sí, sí encontramos la lógica. Do we find the logic on that? All right, it's more logical sense, okay? So, just, you just have to remember that. Si usted ve que tiene una WH question, que tiene una de estas al inicio, y después ve el auxiliar do or does, automáticamente 
no le vaya a responder sí o no, ¿verdad? Solo usted va a dar una respuesta diferente. Por ejemplo, aquí, what do you play on your computer? ¿Qué juegas en tu computadora? I play games on my computer. ¿Sí? Yo juego, valga la redundancia, juegos en mi computadora. ¿Ok? That's it. Is it clear? Is it understandable? Si ¿Sí estamos entendiendo. Yes. Mm. Yes. I understand. Sí, entiendo que a esta hora ya le yes, está un teacher. poquito de sueño, yeah. ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Algunos ya los veo que están casi dormidos. That's understandable. Es entendible. It's part of your effort. Es un esfuerzo que ustedes hacen para poder aprender un nuevo idioma. So, so, así que I just encourage you. Los animo a que no se den por vencidos. Ok. Keep on going. Keep on doing that. Y algún día me los puedo encontrar en X o Y lugar y vamos a tener una conversation ya con todas las pilas puestas sabiendo inglés. Ok. So never, never stop. Uh, your dreams, okay? Nunca hay que dejar de aprender. So this information, guys, or these exercises, we are going to try to do it tomorrow. So once again, esos ejercicios también son para mañana. Because of the time, ya no tenemos más tiempo. So take a screenshot for this one too. And we have those exercises for tomorrow, okay? Okay. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer en esta? What are we going to do? Simple. We are going to use the verb. Vamos a utilizar el verb que tenemos between parentheses. And here, we are just going to form questions. Vamos a formar preguntas. That's it. ¿Sí? Usted ve aquí el sujeto y cuando ve el sujeto, usted dice, ah, ok. Por el sujeto que tengo, yo voy a usar do or does. So that will be up to you. Ok. Otra situación importante. If you don't know, si usted no sabe qué significan estos verbos, vaya y verifique qué es lo que significa. So tomorrow, ya mañana, ya sabe qué es lo que significa. Ok. In case, en algún caso que algunos trabajan, and I do understand that, entiendo que la mayoría de ustedes trabajan o tienen cosas que hacer. Y por alguna situación, you cannot do the exercises, no puede hacer los ejercicios, pero de verdad, vea, que no pueda. Ok, so you tell me, me lo hacen saber, and we can make some arrangements, ¿sí? Podemos ver qué se hace. Rosa Melio, yes. Eh, estas, estas, eh, estas preguntas solo son usando el do o el das. El do o el das, ¿sí? Porque siempre seguimos en el simple present. Ok. Perfect. Any other question? Alguna otra pregunta? Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? Is there any question regarding to the exercises? Preguntas de acuerdo a los ejercicios? Se las vamos a mandar uh, si, uh, al WhatsApp uh, personal. Yeah. O... No, you can do it on through the group. Okay. All right, so questions, preguntas, is it clear? Clear. Clear, okay, so we're going to stop there, guys, because of the time. So it was a pleasure for me to be once again with you. Remember, recuérdense si tienen preguntas, dudas, inquietudes, ask the questions. We have, you have my WhatsApp number, you have the WhatsApp there. So use it. If you have questions, si tienen preguntas, don't feel shy. Sin, sin ningún miedo, okay? So if you have any question or something, just let me know and I will be there to help you, okay? So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the class and see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? So have a good night, guys. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night.